Jersey Shore people, and we are back, back, and, and better, better than ever, than ever, better than ever, better, people, than, better ever. than ever. Um, We're back, uh, we peeps. are bringing you a very, very, very terrifying episode today. It's spooky <laughs> city, people. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited and scared. Scared in the front half, excited in the back half, because we are doing all Dollar Tree makeup. Dollar Dollar Bill, y'all. 100%, yeah. 100%. All Dollar, Dollar, is it the Dollar Store or the Dollar Tree? It's the Dollar Store, yeah? Dollar Tree, not Dollar General. So all of this makeup that we are using was one dollar. One dollar. One dollar. I tried to get everything that I would use on a regular face for any other day from what they had. <laughs> I don't know if you had this experience, but it was very, maybe not so much with eyeshadow, but it was very slim pickings when it came to foundation and powder. <laughs> okay, also, I'm going to time out and I'm going to pause to the audience because, or I'm going to pause and apologize to the audience because if you hear noise from me on my side, I just want to get that apology out of the way. I have both my nine-month-old puppy and my uh, husband who just got his second vaccine in the vicinity. So there's like a little bit more noise than on my end than normal and I can't really like control it. But yes, I struggled to find foundation stuff. And when I did, I was like, it would say like beige. And I'm like, Mm-mm, this isn't beige. Just, I, like I am terrified. I'm not even really confident of the color that I did get. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I'm not confident at all. I'm I actually have my makeup eraser here because if it goes really bad, I'm going to take off my face makeup and I'm going to put on my concealer that I normally use for my face makeup. I Like, I am actually petrified of the left-hand side of my table right now, which is all the face stuff. Very, actually pretty excited after shopping. Very excited for the eye stuff and to get into that because their lashes, as Stephanie has taught us, are really, really cool. They are, mm-hmm. I actually bought quite a few of those because I was like, wow, that's a good shape. I wonder if that band is is any good. So the main things that I found are the main brands at the dollar store. I'm curious to see what you found. LA Color was like the big, LA Color was like every product. Mm-hmm, and then there, like was a, uh, there was a few Wet n Wild. So I did yes. try to get to spice it up. And then there was this one rando, um, Beauty Benefits, um, I found oh, this one, I didn't so. see that. No, mine is all LA Colors, Wet n Wild, and I have some Elf products, so I'm interested to see. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see how those turn out. Um, I did also find this silicone beauty blender at the dollar store. Oh, I have never used a silicone beauty blender. I'm not even sure I, I like the idea of it, but I was like, you know what, we're going all out, so I'm going to try this today. We're giving it our best shot here, and uh, I am using their Beauty Blender, and I'm actually impressed with it. For a Dollar Tree Beauty Blender, it is a uh, Molly or face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I like the way this feels. You should have gone with the one that looks like this. They didn't have those. They only had silicone See, ones. See, my Dollar Tree had these bad boys, and they are, tell- let me tell you, um, it is retaining a little bit of water. We'll try and- oh, my God. Oh, Get over here. Oh, Iroh. Naughty, naughty boy. Oh my gosh. Molly, when you see this, you're gonna be like, what the heck? Iro, this is brand new. They oh. <laughs> oh my god. Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey, another one bites the dust. <laughs> Iroh got her beauty blender. Again, that's that's my brand new and I just got it. Dude, you're going to have to get actual dog toys instead of giving him beauty blenders. Dude, he with. has actual dog toys. I was trying to be <laughs> quiet. For the, he just got it right out of my makeup bag. It was my fault. It was not his fault. Another beauty blender bites at us. I will say I tried to look up LA Color online just to kind of get some information about them. Supposedly on their website, it says they are cruelty free. And their big thing is providing inexpensive beauty products to like millennials and young people and things like that. So that's their whole story. Okay. Okay. This is the only one I could find. And it was a creamy beige. Look at that. 
oh, yours is creamy beige and mine is natural, but yours looks darker than mine. <laughs> and then I got this one because I was like, this, this one is Ooh. Color Mates and it looked more promising to me. Oh my God, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird, first of all. I don't know how I feel about this. I just put on the face primer, their green color correcting, and I actually kind of like it. It, it did kind of color correct quite a bit, so. All right, first swatch, here we go. Right over this pimple. Yes, girl. I think I'm going to have to beauty blend it up <laughs> because the silicone beauty blender didn't work. The My brush over here did not really do what I needed to do. So on to the beauty blend. It has a a little bit of a smell, but not like, not like the Wet n Wild that we tried. Well, how did that go? Did you try the Wet n Wild foundation? I did. I did. I was actually really impressed with it. Um, it did crease on me, so it, <laughs> it didn't last as long as my Estee Lauder. But it yeah. was pretty good for the price. <laughs> I feel like I just got a spray tan on my face. <laughs> yeah, Mullen, you look very orange. I just used this little guy, the Color Mates one. And I'm just doing what I would do with my concealer. Like, I'm not trying to. Like, I don't think that this is going to hold up long term the only thing i'm worried about is what for my eye look i highly rely on concealer for my eyes like good concealer to hold the makeup so i'm really worried you about you look wild right now molly <laughs> so we're going to continue to put on our makeup in the meantime we're going to chit chat if you're just joining us we are caroline and molly two Two, uh, I about said two co-hosts, <laughs> two co-workers turned best friends. My sister messaged me one day and she's like, hey, you guys should do all dollar store makeup. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> and this like piece of paper sponge that I'm using that came with the pressed powder. Although this pressed powder is pretty, pretty covering. So, okay, I'll give you that. This powder is pretty, pretty dang good for pressed powder. I feel like I look like a little ghosty, which is honestly good for me because uh, the more ghost-like I look, the less chance that it, like, well, it might, maybe it'll oxidize down to my color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I would hate to see what this oxidizes down to. Dude, I'll tell you what. Your girl's got fine lines and wrinkles for show in this foundation. <laughs> honestly, I'm just, like, really afraid of everything I bought for my face. All right. On to the eyeshadow. Eyeshadow Bold, it says. I'll be the judge of that. So, you know, one of our last episodes, the one where we did the weed palette, you know, we talked a lot about glitter in that episode. And I think we both kind of struggled a little bit with application. Yeah. Um, so one of our listeners messaged me. Um, her name is Peggy Loop. She messaged me and said, um, powder and a fluffy brush takes glitter fallout off your face. And she says that she always uses her fingers for glitter because it gives a better color payoff. So I know that I had mentioned in the episode that I had a bunch of glitter fallout and was having trouble actually getting it off my face. Yeah. Um, so we had a listener give us that tip. So if you're using glitter and you have some fallout, try a fluffy brush with some powder and just sweep it off your face. I knew applying it with your finger was the way to go, but I had no idea that powder and a fluffy brush was how you got it back off of your face. Hey, you learn stuff every day. You're never, you're never too much of a professional to stop learning. And we're not professionals. I would like to state yeah. that yet again. <laughs> Been a minute since I said that. We got, we got a little big for our britches and I think this dollar store makeup just proved us who we are. Well, I got this kabuki brush from there and let me tell you, it feels like, um, feels like horse hair. It does not feel good. <laughs> so... <laughs> Ouch, she says. Oh my gosh, Molly. <laughs> what? This brush. Don't don't mess your face up. <laughs> don't irritate it if it's hurting. No, it's just like so patchy. No offense to elderly people if you listen to us, but it's elderly like people? A, it smells like an elderly person. <laughs> I've never heard elderly that's what Bla that's actually what that's a blair term uh she calls she doesn't like the word elderly so she calls them elderly i'm not sure how the eyeshadow wears because obviously this is the first time i've ever used this eyeshadow and we're just applying it but i will say as far as application it, i don't have a ton of fall well actually i don't have any fallout like normally occurs with uh inexpensive eyeshadows it's going on pretty good it's kind of creamy in a way 
Ooh, I'm excited to get to my eyes. I uh, very focused on the face right now. Now tell me, what in terms of eye products did you get? Because I think I've sh I think I've said everything except for my eye products. Like I'm using LA um, LA Colors highlighter and bronzer right now, and they're not they're not awful. Uh, the brush was awful, so I'd like to give these a fair shot. Another day. I got um, liquid eyeliner, pencil eyeliner, mascara, and then regular eyeshadow, of course. Now, on to the part that I'm most excited for is these lashes. Um, oh, yes. I forgot you got lashes. I was too afraid. I was petrified that if I used those lashes, I would get glue in my eye. These are really exciting to me because they look just like the Ardell Demi Wispies. Like, honestly... I can't even really tell them apart. Well, that's a, wow, that's a statement. Are you using your house of lash glue? Nope, I am trying Dollar Tree glue. I'm serious, I'm, I'm trying to go for it to the best of my abilities. I don't think I have anything on my face right now that's not Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Molly, your eyes are dark, fam. I know, I feel like I got that 90s eyeliner going on. What are you talking about, my eyes are dark? My whole face is dark. <laughs> I'm not trying to write it off already, but... I definitely have an appreciation for my makeup that I use. All right, so I finally got my face on. Got my hat turned around bright because I want to look normal. Uh, 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 that's how I feel about the look. I can't even talk. Yep. First impressions yep. are the foundation is uh, just don't even. <laughs> I have creases and crevices on my face I didn't even know I had, girl. So there's that. This powder, though? Okay, I am impressed with this powder. If you're someone who wears pressed powder, I like loose powder personally, and I like translucent powder. This isn't translucent. Good thing, though, because that foundation color was way off. The powder, though, not bad. Not bad at all. Powder, yes. Foundation, no. You know, if you're balling on a budget, I'm not going to knock the eyeshadow. It is hard to blend, I will say. Uh, it's not as pigmented, but it's it's usable. Um, it's just hard to find good neutral colors. So I'm curious to see how your look turns out because mine only had like these crazy wild colors. Silicone Beauty Blender. I will never use this ever again. I could not get the product to really blend into my face. But granted, that could have been because of the foundation. But I yeah. just, not, not my thing. Eyeliner. Pencil eyeliner. Terrible. I couldn't even get it to work. And normally for me, I'm not um, picky about my pencil eyeliners because I can pretty much use anything for what I need. I made it work, but it was like scraping my eye eyelid. So it was hard to get it out. Liquid eyeliner uh, was very liquidy, but so liquidy that <laughs> I think I have the thickest eyeliner on top than I ever do. I feel like my eyes look like little baby shells because yeah. it has literally closed my eye down. But again, if you're trying to ball on a budget, then definitely it's not that bad. Um, but I honestly, for just a few more dollars, you can buy NYX and it's it's better. It's way better quality. The mascara is wet and wild. Love the wand in this. I like really thin wands though anyways. The mascara itself, it was just hard to get any product out of the tube. So I don't know if this is old or what. So I don't feel like I can give the best review on this mega wear mascara wet and wild and then let's see what else lipstick i got a wet and wild lipstick not a bad color i just feel like a i would have this all over my teeth and i'm used to wearing a color stay so like a mac or a Too faced kylie those like lip stains those are things that i tend to gravitate towards and i also like matte colors and they only had cream color creamy um, it's not bad though. Again, if you're balling on a budget, the lipstick's not that bad. I personally wouldn't really wear it or probably purchase any other colors. The contrast between your face and my face is wild. So terrible I will never use again is any of their face products, concealer, foundation, contour sticks, anything. None of it. I Throw will it use trash. none of it again. Um... Uh, pay the extra few dollars and get NYX or another drugstore brand because it's just too creasy for me. 
I would say I will take one product out of that and put it in the okay territory. It's actually the contour stick. I feel like it would be a good beginner one because it's not, it doesn't, Ooh. it doesn't leave behind as much product as I want it to. Um, it actually is like very, like it gets picked up and taken away by the beauty blender. So it's not buildable. Yeah. It's not, it's not there. Um, another okay one is the LA Colors Highlight. This is in Shine Bright. I actually really like this. If you... Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> if you have um, a more... A skin tone that leans more towards, like, not, like, the super bright white highlight, but that gold shimmery highlight. It's actually really pretty. I really like that highlight. Yeah. I like it, actually. And then their brushes are all... If you get anything that's other than their Wet n' Wild brushes, they're trash. Any brush other than the Wet n' Wild brush is trash. I'm going to give their Beauty Blender another shot with my normal stuff because I, I want to test it out. Because it feels soft and squishy like it would be okay, like a Real Techniques one. And my dog just ate my other one, so now I have to give it some more tries. <laughs> Let's see, what else? The mascara is in the terrible category. It was awful. I could not... It, I had the LA Colors Bold Lash one, though, so um, did not like it. I could not get hardly anything out of it. Okay, so it wasn't just me. <laughs> Lash glue was terrible. Did not like it. I'm very picky about lash glue, though. It could very easily be in the okay territory. I'm just very picky on that. Oh, eyeshadow is okay. It's okay. It's nothing to write home about. If you are in a pinch and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to go to the Dollar Tree right now because I have X amount of time to get ready and it's the only store nearby. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do fine. The things that I did like were all of the eyeliner products I used. I like. I have an elf oh, nice. one. I liked the Wet n Wild this is the, I don't know if this is the one that you got. Oh, mine is different. Mine is a, like a, a cranky, a crank up. Oh, okay. So I liked both of these. I have an elf one and a wet and wild. And the elf one actually has like a little sharpener built into the top. So I liked yeah. it. I used the elf for my brows and I used <gasps> the wet and wild for my... I forgot about my brows. <laughs> it's okay. Pull your head down. Pull your head down. <laughs> And then the other eyeliner things, the metallic liquid, I actually showed up pretty good. I would be interested to do a wear test with it and see how well it did. And then I, I tested this LA Colors black on my hand earlier, and it's got a wand similar to the NYX wand that I like. I love these lashes in terms yeah? of their shape and their band. Yeah, I really do. They feel like... Now, the, the lashes themselves feel a little bit plasticky compared to what I'm used to. They're not as soft, but it's not bothering me. They're very light. They're easy. I kind of like them for a little natural look. Wow. So there you guys go. Mm -hmm. The lash expert has now reviewed Stephanie's uh, tip about dollar store eyelashes and... She supports it. I literally saw the shape in store and I saw the band and I was like, it looks just like the Ardell Demi Wispies. It's the LA Colors Diva. So I actually had already bought five of them because I was like, I kind of knew from the shape. I was like, I'm going to like that a lot. So oh, I bought wow. five of them to add to the collection because they're good ones. I mean, they're a dollar. You can use them and toss them and uh, I'm not going to stress about it. So I, yeah. I bought quite a few of those. I filled in my middle part because I messed up really bad on trying to do my Cupid's bow. But I, I, I like, I would be interested to also wear this for a long time. The Wet n' Wild lipstick and see how oh, this what wears. what colors is, we got the same ones, but we have different colors. Mine's hot red. I got dark wine, which is like which, a very me color. When it, in Hot lipstick. red looks pink on mine. It doesn't look red uh, at all. Dark wine looks very, like in terms of color matching, it does not look like what it looks like. Like, I expected it to be more berry Same. and it's more red. All of my, like, would buy again are all the eyeliner products and the lashes. So, I'm not mad at it, but it's not something that I'm like, wow, I really killed that. It's like, nope, yeah. you, you're passing. It's a passing grade. It's a passing grade. I don't feel beauty confident, that's for sure. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But we did, we did the best we could. We made it work as to the best of our ability. I'm really not mad at my eyes, but I honestly think the lashes are what's saving this look. Now, are yes. they on there with the glue? Mm -hmm. Could she do the hair dryer test? Probably not. Probably not. Know. Would not want to do that, honestly, right now. Would not want to do that. Yeah. That is... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 <laughs> it's a... It's um. There are thoughts and feelings about it. <laughs> Well, guys, we did it. We took a recommendation from my sister, 
I mm-hmm. love her. It's fine. It was a great idea. We used all dollar store products. If you have any other tips or ideas you want us to try, all products, same look, I don't know. You tell us. We'll try it, guys. We are up for the challenge. And this challenge, you tell us. Is it passing or failing? Failing. I think <laughs> I actually think we're I think we're passing, but like barely. Like we're skating barely. By. Like the we passing grade average right now. The passing grade is a, a 78 and we're a 78.2. Like yeah, we're yes. barely there. The queen of the hot take is back, um stealing Molly's back. thunder and <laughs> pissing people off left and right. And you know, last episode my whole thing was a hot take. I just I was just grumpy and my whole thing was a hot take. Then I had a light hot take. Well, I'm back. Okay, people, I'm back and I'm ready to make you mad. Chipotle sucks. <laughs> yes. The rice tastes like dirt. Okay, so I this is something that I thought I wanted to, like, this is, I didn't want to double check with Molly before I said it. I thought she agreed with me, and I thought we had talked about it, but, like, no. Chipotle sucks, and Dylan hates it, and it's along that line of, like, cilantro, where I thought she didn't, she also thought you didn't, um... But Dylan and I both hate it based off an experience we had, like, right at the peak of, like, you know, Vine with that little kid who was like, Chipotle is my life. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, We went in there before they had queso, and it was both of our first times going. And Dylan was like, do you guys have queso? And the girl at the counter goes just like this. She goes, um, it's kind of hard to make a natural liquid cheese, isn't it? And I was like... We're leaving. Like, we are absolutely strike leaving. Strike one. Yep, that was strike one. Strike two was the fact that their rice tasted like dirt. And strike, two. strike three is just the price in general. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, burrito places yeah. are kind of expensive, but Dylan yeah. and I will take our little happy butts over to Moe's, and we will eat that queso made in a bucket in the back all day over Chipotle. Yes. All day. All day. I'll take Moe's, Salsaritas, any other place, really. Yeah, I, like literally I any like other Chipotle. place. I mean, my mm-hmm. place is Salsaritas. Molly knows this. I beg every day at work. I'm like, let's go to Salsies, 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 Salsies. Um, yes. But yeah, I am not a Chipotle stan. And when I say that, people either have like a visceral reaction or they're like, yeah, I get it. Like, oh my God, you hate Chipotle? It's so good. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, First no, of it's all, not. I know that we just kind of skimmed by this, but... If girl had said that to me, what would I have done? Because that just makes me mad. First of all, don't even tell me that. We both dropped our faces and we were like, okay, so it's this kind of place. And she like started backtracking and was like, because Dylan was like, Dylan said he's really into cooking. And he's like, it's all it is, is warmed up cheese and milk and flour. Like it's actually like not that hard to do. And so then she started backtracking really hard, but yeah, that set the tone for the whole visit. And then it's just been downhill from, I've never been back. I've had Chipotle. You know what? Maybe it's not a fair hot take. Cause I've only had Chipotle twice, but like, I, I feel like it was enough for me to understand the vibe and I don't like it there. I've had it more than once. And Oh, <laughs> I'm glad that you brought this up, girl. Okay, here's a fun fact about Molly. So uh, I don't do this full time. I don't even do it part time. I do it maybe quarter time, (laughs) if that. But a couple of weeks ago, month ago, two months ago, I don't know. I signed up to be a DoorDash driver. Yeah. And I had to go to Chipotle. And so I go in to get the order. And girl's like, did you not find your order over there on the shelf? No, ma'am. I don't see it over here. I'm looking for, oh, uh, what was the name? Uh, it was like Kayla or something. And I was like, I don't see Kayla over here. And she was like, okay. And so I wait and I'll wait. And I'm like, you know, you have a time limit to get these deliveries done. And I'm like looking, I'm approaching that. So I message the customer. She comes over and she says, I have a Kayla. I don't have a Kylie. And I was like, well, Kayla is my customer's name. So that's probably her. I didn't say Kylie. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then she goes back and I'm like, okay, sounds like they're just now getting your order taken. I'm waiting again. Someone else comes in, grabs their order. I'm like, what the heck's taking so long? She finally comes up to me again, or I get closer to the counter and then you could tell like I'm hovering. So she comes up to me and like, I guess her manager's in the back and they're like, oh, something happened with the order machine. It actually shut down. So we're just now getting that order in. 
well, wait a second. I thought a minute ago that you said that you had an order for Kayla, not Kylie. Yeah. So then I had to wait on it. Well, one of the things that DoorDash does is sometimes they'll ping you for another order if it's nearby. So that way you can pick it up together and go. Yeah. I literally was walking out of Chipotle and I got a notification. Oh, pick up an order at Chipotle. I was like, nope, nope. We're just yep. doing the one Mm-mm. and we're done. No, nope, we got to get so, out of here. <laughs> fourth strike against you, Chipotle. Fourth strike as a DoorDasher. Mm-hmm. No. Nope. No. Um, I don't know, dude. You know the vibe of Moe's is so much more welcoming. It's like, and literally it is welcome more welcoming. Welcome to Moe's. They're literally like, welcome to Moe's. And I'm like, my yes. people, I'm here. I've arrived. Yeah, you're like, okay? me? 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 I'm <laughs> yes. royalty here. Like, <laughs> squeeze the liquid queso that's unnatural directly into my mouth, please. Like, that would yes. be great. Like, COVID or not, let me put my mouth under that queso yeah. faucet. If that's how people are going to treat me at Chipotle. Dude, you know that cheese is my main course at every meal, so. Yeah, exactly. So that is my hot take. Take it how you will, people. Um, But Molly and I have scientific reasons to not like Chipotle. Yeah. Not only that, let's say this. Um, Moe's even has like this weird cilantro-y dip, and I still prefer Moe's over Chipotle. I I agree 100%. I, I agree 100 like, honestly, get your fingers stuck in their little hole in their wall thing. I did that one time, too. That was my second trip. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, I don't know about any holes in the wall. I don't know what you You know the one about. downtown? It has, like, there's one downtown on the strip, and it's got, like, all these holes in its wall. I never been I literally, like, girl. put my finger in there, and I was like, oh, trying to use finger trap, can't get it out. And I, like, just, I had to, like, really quick just go whoosh. It oh ripped. man! It gave me a little cut on my top of my finger, but she honestly, that's my fault. A little fault. bite, bite yeah, from Chipotle. Um, it's just like my fault. Well, sometimes when I see things, I'm like, "Don't do that," and then I am literally my body's already in motion to do that. I don't know if this is a sign that I'm getting older, or if this is a real thing that's happening in Knox County. So today, <laughs> I pull out from work, and I'm driving down the road, and. There's a car that's literally halfway over the center line in my lane. And I'm like, are they going to get over? And then they swerve. And I was like, okay, honest mistake. I've probably done it. I'm not, I'm a great driver, but I'm not a safe driver. That's what I say. My name is Malio Andretti. Okay. Okay. (laughs) So then I'm like, okay, whatever. So then I'm driving, I'm getting closer. I was headed to the gym and Again, it happens again on a different street, a different vehicle, halfway over of the middle of the lane into my lane. And I'm like, oh gosh, it happens a third time, dude, on the way home from the gym as I'm coming home. And I'm like, has everyone just gone stupid and doesn't know how to drive anymore? Mm -hmm. And I guess the reason I noticed it more today is I'm driving a different vehicle today than I normally drive. And it's my dad's big a uh, big dually truck out there and so it has wide tires on it so like I take up a lot of the lane that I'm in yeah and so I'm like there's not enough room for you to mess up a little bit <laughs> and overcorrect. you know I need you to be in your lane yeah but, like on the way home I was just like okay either you're getting old and these are problems that you now have in the world <laughs> or people just don't know how to drive I'm going with people don't know how to drive I think it's that people don't know how to drive and also I feel like the whole texting and driving thing is like I notice people swerving a lot more and it's like during the daytime <laughs> and stuff like that and it's like you know at night you kind of get worried because you're like is that a drunk driver or is that like yeah. someone who can't like because like my mom she had she used to she had surgery for it but she used to have cataracts so like when she had to drive at night like it was hard for her to see so like she did Ooh. like swerve a lot of the time yeah um wow. and so she did not night drive unless it was like an emergency like usually my dad would drive once it got dark before she had her surgery yeah um but i think it's i think it also has to do with texting and driving dude you're probably right i mean I'm sitting here being such a hypocrite because I'm sure I do it too <laughs> in a vehicle when I'm more comfortable. But today I was just like, really, guys? Today's mm-hmm. the day we're going to swerve into Molly's lane the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Also, it was like, a, for today, it was a beautiful day. So I feel like probably more people were out and then you get the bad drivers out and they're acting a fool. I'm talking with a coworker today and we always have communal radio. Um, so someone plays DJ and they play music. Well... 
she plays this song today and she says, I really like this artist. And I was like, I know this artist. And she's like, no, you don't. I was like, no, I do. I was like, um, I've known him for a really long time. And I said, I've actually played drums for him before back in the day. I was like, he went to my church. He was our pastor's son. And she was like, like just bugging out on that because she likes him a lot. She's like, oh my gosh, I went and saw him in Nebraska. He's great. He's a really cool dude. So I text him and I was like, yeah, I told her about this time that I threw you off a cliff when we went snowmobiling. And so side story, we went to Montana, went snowmobiling and he's riding with me and he's like, go faster, Molly. And Molly Andretti, of course, has to go faster. Yeah. Well, we round this curve and we like, the snowmobile flips over he goes over my shoulders and like off this bank cliff stop the only, I know, the only thing that stopped him was his feet came up on a stump and then how he got back up I, I don't even know but like once he got up i was like oh i was like i'm glad you're okay but honestly dude the whole thing that was going through my head this entire time was your dad's gonna kill me because his dad was the pastor <laughs> oh my god um, but anyway so fast forward so i told her that story and i was joking around with him well, he FaceTimes me later in the day because we hadn't talked in so long because he lives in Nashville. And <laughs> he says, what's up, girl? What are you doing? Well, at about the time that he FaceTimed me, I was headed to the bathroom. And I was like, well, honestly, I was going to poop. But I guess I'll turn around and go back to my desk. <laughs> <laughs> well, and guess like, it's time to chat. <laughs> he, was, he immediately busts out laughing because you could just tell like, oh crap she just said this and we're on facetime because then he like turns his camera around and they're in the studio and fixing to write some music and i was like uh maybe that's, i should have said that that's awkward <laughs> um hello studio i am pooping <laughs> add that to your track <laughs> exactly sample sample that one would you um there's this tiktok trend going around that's like it's just this audio, but the caption says, when you sit down and think about it, like, your significant other's just a random stranger in your house. And I was like, oh. oh my gosh. And then the comment section was, I think about this all the time. Like, my mom and dad are strangers, but everyone else is related to them. Like, they're the only two people who aren't related to each other. And I'm like, I don't know why. It was just like, it's just like, that very true. simple, very simple when you think about it, but then you think about it and you're like, Oh my gosh, like these two random, like how, it's so true. funny how life works. It's just like, like your parents, my parents, two completely random people who just were like, yep, let's live together. Like, let's make let's, a family. Yeah. Everyone else is related around them, except for them. And that except just like, like them. it's so simple. And I know it sounds so, it's such like a, like high shower thought, I guess. But it's like, oh my gosh, like. Yeah, they're your mom and dad, and you're related to both of them, but they are not related to each other. They love each other by choice, or hate each other by choice, and uh, everyone else has to. Like, I have to love my sister. She's my sister. I have to love my brother. He's my right. brother. Yeah. But my mom and dad, they choose that every day, and I just, like, it's such a simple thing, and I was like, Dylan's literally a random stranger that I choose to love. I, I, That's I, true. I, he's such a stranger in my house. It's his house, but whatever there's a house. stranger in my house and that the way that song goes i think i don't know i'm glad he's not in the room anymore all right shut her down <laughs> <laughs> shut it down all right beautiful people we have come to the end of this great episode we have we have uh i would say we've enjoyed getting ready with you this morning but uh but we haven't it's oh. it's been a lie we have not our faces are yeah. orange and white <laughs> and pimply and not covered pimp and, city um it's pimp city and while we loved it w while we loved joining you guys we hated it so yeah. sorry people this was um interesting i um I, I love you dollar store but i don't know that i'll ever purchase these products again found some great hacks also found some terrible hacks so yeah it's been a time people it's been a time uh but yeah if you are new to the podcast if you're not following us be sure to check us out on instagram twitter tiktok we are at wake and make pod we are also on youtube and that is wake and make podcast so be sure to check us out we have uh started uploading some of our videos of the podcast um, just so you guys can get a little more of us and our personalities, but we appreciate you guys. We are so thankful for you and that you're listening to us. Be sure to send us a message. If you have some tips, tricks, 
products you want us to review, we are definitely down to do that. Remember, remember people, stand possums, burn ticks, and uh, keep doing you. Uh, we will see you next episode. A wham, a bam, a thank, a a thank you, you ma'am. Ma thank you, ma'am. Peace. Peace.